Hello YouTube, Power Stars here with my second album review. Today, we're going to be looking at the They Might Be Giants album, John Henry. And here to help is the biggest They Might Be Giants fan I know. That's because I'm the only They Might Be Giants fan you know. Hey, shut up. <sighs> Fine. Well, as I was previously saying, today we're going to be looking at the They Might Be Giants album, John Henry. May I provide a little history? Yes, please do. They Might Be Giants is primarily two guys, John Linnell and John Flansburg. Yeah, kinda confusing. Anyways, they began writing music in the early 80s, releasing various EPs or extended plays, but they finally released their first album in 86. Ever since then, they've been... decently popular? They did the theme song to Malcolm in the Middle, and they had a few charting singles, but sadly, they never really launched off. Nowadays, they primarily write children's music, with the exception of the 2013 album, Nanobots. And until this album, it was just John Linnell and John Flansburg, unless you consider a drum machine a member of the band. For John Henry, they recruited bassists Tony Mamone and Graham Maybe, as well as drummer Brian Doherty. They also moved towards a more conventional instrumentation as a result. Now then, let's talk about the actual album. In my opinion, the tracks I Should Be Allowed to Think, Destination Moon, and The End of the Tour stand out the most to me. Both I Should Be Allowed to Think and Destination Moon offer traditional They Might Be Giant style and really defines the tone of the album. The end of the tour, on the other hand, offers a much more mellow mood, but still works amazingly. At the end of the tour, when the road disappears, if there's any more people around, when the tour burns the ground, and if you're still around, then we meet at the end of the tour. Personally, these songs, in addition to A Self Called Nowhere and Sleeping in the Flowers, are what make the album for me. In addition to that, there's small comedic songs like Oh Do Not Forsake Me and Window to help keep it interesting. There's also more genre-bending stuff like Extra Saver Fair and SPY! To keep the album more interesting. Unfortunately, some of the tracks are forgettable. Out of Jail, for example, is a great song, but there's nothing I think sticks and makes you remember it. Out of Jail, as Ethan mentioned, and Stomp Box seem like filler and don't really need to be there. They're one of the few negatives for me and kind of weigh it down. Overall, John Henry is an amazing album, but has small flaws that can't go unnoticed. It has some unnecessary filler, but for the most part, it is a classic that's somewhat overlooked. Give it a shot. It was great being there, Johnny. Yeah, I hated having you too. What? Oh, fuck you too. This is Paris 321. And the Skeletal Minion, signing, signing off. off.